like to introduce you to the new high pressure wildland suppression system that we've developed uh, from cap pumps. Uh, it starts out, this unit is designed primarily for the Polaris Ranger. We use only the reliable Honda engine. This is a five and a half horsepower Honda engine coupled with the uh, cat pump. We have selected the cat pump for its reliability and quality. It's capable of producing 1500 PSI, but we're only using three and a half gallon of water a minute. Cat Engineers has designed a high pressure foam induction system for this unit. You have an easy valve shut off right here and you're able to adjust your foam from 1% to 5%. This unit comes with a six inch fill port, which allows you for quick fill in an emergency or in the field. Uh, you're able to fill this from a pond or a stream when a tanker truck is not available. We've incorporated a three gallon foam tank with easy access. Your foam tank allows you to run six tanks of water to one tank of foam. This unit comes standard with an inch and a half quick fill, quick discharge valve with a ball valve selector. We have chosen the Cox ball bearing reel with 300 foot of half inch hose. There is an option available that we can go with a electric rewind on this particular unit. CAT engineers have gone the extra mile. They design each nozzle for specific pump outputs. CAT has designed this bi-flow nozzle for both wide angle spray and straight stream. One of the most exciting things about this unit is the opportunity to work with CAT pumps. We've worked together over the last six months developing a system that has great water conservation along with superior fire knockdown capabilities. What do you think, Ed? It'll be a nice, windy, hot fire. What are some of the advantages you need for this phone? Oh. Save stress on a firefighter, number one. We have a lot better knockdown power. And we don't have to worry about a rekindle coming up behind us. Pretty well seals off the rekindles. Uh, the knockdown power with the high pressure, it allows us to get into the undergrowth of the, where it's burning. A lot of times when we use water, the heat will dry it out and it'll rekindle behind us. With the high pressure, we can go in and shoot underneath the undergrowth and knock down the fire so we're not going to have a rekindle. We're going to go over on the southeast corner and we're going to lay down a white line, back burn into that. The way the wind's blowing today, uh, we're going to do a lot of back burning before we ever start a head fire. So we're going to head over on the far corner right now.